Welcome back everyone to another Brian's Diecast Thailand. And yes, more finds. This first one here that I picked up uh, last week, it's normally something that I wouldn't go for. Because this car, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a I'd say it's a new old stock or an old new stock, every way you say it. It's a Hot Wheels. It just says Mattel, 1979, Thailand. We all know it's a Ford three-window coupe, about 33, 34. But it is just mint. Absolutely mint. There's not a scratch or a chip or anything. When I bought this off the vendor, he had it wrapped in plastic and you couldn't really see what condition it was in. And until I got it home and took the plastic off, I thought, wow. I mean, just look at the plastic wheels. That thing has never, ever, ever been played with. So, there's the first one I've got. Second one. Now, this is a Tomeka. I don't know if you can see. It's a Nissan Cedric made in China. Metal body plastic base, but it's got real rubber tyres. Plastic lens at the back. I love the shape of the body on this car. The only sad part is all the front end's missing. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, whether I can try and make one or see if I can find another car or not. But I just loved it. It had to come home. It reminds me of an old British car in its looks. So yeah, I thought that was cool. And then the next one. Yes, I got a matchbox. I haven't seen any matchbox for ages. This is the... Uh, Get it the right way up. Made in England by Lesney, Matchbox Series number 31, Lincoln Continental. Super fast. Now, this is another car to me. I think it's borderlining on sh should I do something with it or should I just leave it? It's in really good condition. Suspension's perfect, the wheels are perfect, no bends in the axles. It's just got a little little crack on in the front windscreen, which is not much. But I think to me that's a keeper. Open the trunk. Yeah, I think to me that's a borderline car. It can stay how it is in my book and then the next one another Tomica metal body metal base and it's painted in like a matte a matte white with black I think it's a police car the beacon's like it's a funny shade of a yellowy orange I don't know but yes you know me it's a new crown. I've got about six or seven crowns now by Tomica. Opening doors. That's not in bad condition either. A few little chippity chips here. But other than that, back brake lights. It's a pretty cool looking little car. And last but not least, we have. That's a dinky toy, and it's a 1913 Morris Oxford. If I get it the right way around. Made in England. Uh, it's hard to see, isn't it? It's a 1913 Morris Oxford, and then it says dinky up the front there, by where my thumb is. Axles are bent. Missing its windscreen, or wind, 
windshield. This isn't its steering wheel, that ain't a problem. It's missing a little plastic canopy that was round the back there. What resembled, you know, the, the uh, open canopy. And it's missing the little driver. Now, this actually dinky toy featured in a children's TV program. I wonder if anyone can guess what it is. If you can, write down in the comments and I might make a separate video with this car and its history. Dinky Toys 1913 Morris Oxford. So there we have what we've found. Not too much this time. It is getting very scarce at the markets. I don't know what's happening lately. It's just getting very hard to find things. And also, I'd like to just dedicate this video to Bog from Red Room Diecast. I know there's a challenge out there to show you red cars, but I thought I'd just do this one because I'd already uploaded it, or just about to upload it, so he was a great friend to me. He watched all my videos, he commented on all my videos, so I did class him as a great friend. So, this is for you, Bog. Rest in peace, my good friend. So, hope everyone enjoyed that video. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you know what children's TV program that was from. Stay safe everyone. If you're not already, please become a subscriber. And stay safe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>